Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about conducting clinical trials in the EU. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. In today's globalized world, conducting clinical trials in the European Union offers a plethora of opportunities for pharmaceutical, biotech, and medical device companies based outside the EU. With its large and diverse population, well-established regulatory framework, and robust healthcare infrastructure, the EU provides an ideal landscape for testing new medical innovations. This video serves as a comprehensive guide for executives and decision makers of non-EU companies planning to expand their clinical research into the EU. Let us start with understanding the EU clinical trials regulatory environment. At the heart of the EU clinical trials regulatory environment is the European Medicines Agency, responsible for the scientific evaluation, supervision, and safety monitoring of medicines in the EU. The EMA operates according to two key pieces of legislation, the Clinical Trials Directive and the Clinical Trials Regulation. These laws ensure that clinical trials conducted within the EU adhere to strict standards to protect participants and produce reliable data. Integral to these standards is Good Clinical Practice GCP, an international ethical and scientific quality standard for designing, conducting, recording, and reporting trials involving human subjects. Compliance with GCP ensures the rights, safety, and well-being of trial subjects are protected and that clinical trial data are credible. Non-EU companies looking to conduct clinical trials in the EU must first identify an EU-based legal representative who will interact with regulatory authorities on their behalf. Companies must then prepare and submit an application to the EMA for their clinical trial. This application should include a detailed description of the intended trial, including its objectives, design, methodology, statistical considerations, and organization. The application also undergoes an ethical review to ensure that it aligns with accepted ethical principles. This process typically involves an independent ethics committee or institutional review board, which assesses whether the proposed trial respects the rights, safety, and well-being of its participants. Once the application is approved, companies can establish their trial site, recruit participants, and begin data collection. Establishing a trial site involves identifying appropriate facilities and ensuring they meet the necessary standards for conducting clinical trials. Recruitment of participants must be done ethically, ensuring that participants understand the trial's purpose, procedures, risks, benefits, and their rights. Companies must also have a robust data collection and management plan in place. This plan should specify how data will be collected, managed, and stored to ensure its integrity and confidentiality, and to facilitate its accurate reporting, interpretation, and verification. Upon completion of the clinical trial, companies have several post-trial responsibilities. They must comply with reporting and disclosure requirements to ensure transparency and accountability. If the trial's results are positive, companies can apply for marketing authorization to sell their product in the EU. Post-authorization, companies continue to monitor their product's safety and efficacy. This ongoing surveillance ensures that any unexpected adverse reactions or changes in effectiveness are detected and managed promptly. Conducting clinical trials in the EU presents potential challenges including language barriers, cultural differences, regulatory complexities, and potential delays and setbacks. Companies can overcome these challenges through careful planning, cultural sensitivity training for staff, engaging local experts to navigate regulatory hurdles, and maintaining open lines of communication with regulatory authorities. 
In conclusion, expanding clinical research into the EU can offer significant benefits for non-EU medical companies. While the process can be complex and challenging, with thorough understanding, careful planning, and adherence to regulatory standards, companies can successfully conduct clinical trials and bring their innovations to the European market. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.